purpose and it needs to say. All right, this is your last chance this week. You can't get it done. You're getting out. We're taking he over. Said that last and week. that right. is it. And he needs to get himself down there and start working. And we'll on send this. you guys the bill. Yeah, yeah. you know, right? the, the, should have done it last it over. week. Take it over. And, and, and I, you know, to be fair to Sarah Palin, it's hard to see why he had why he hasn't done that. Because he's detached. Jeez. He's smooth. He's cool. He's no, whatever. You've got one more chance, and you've so got great. five more days. So, so he's getting knocked from the left. Uh, as well. Listen to what James Carville said and also Chris Matthews in this clip. They are risking everything by this go along with BP strategy they have and, and it, 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 it seemed like lackadaisical on this and, and Doug is right. This seemed like they're inconvenienced by this. This is some kind of giant uh, thing getting in their way and, 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 and somehow or another if you, you, you let BP handle it, it all go away. It's not going away. It's growing out there. It is a disaster of, of, of the first magnitude and they got to go to plan B. The president scares me. He's been acting a little bit like, you know, Vatican observer here. Is he, yeah. he going to actually do something? And I worry. I know he doesn't want to take ownership of it. I know the politics, because the minute he says I'm in charge, then he's blamed. But somebody's going to have to take charge. It's in our interest. It's not the oil country's interest. They're but you know what? He is in charge, and it is his. As long as it's happening, it's his. Is it not? I mean, isn't this the perfect opportunity example no. of where you need to be a leader? And tell, the, tell BP to get out of the way. He just is, get out um, of the way. But his management style is just not that way. He's always been detached. He's always been removed. He's not the type of guy to show up and say, I'm in charge. At this point, doesn't it call for this to happen? Well, if you have the, the left, if you feel like James Carville being upset with him, and then you've got commentators like Chris Matthews, um, who have been supportive of many of his policies in the past, I think it's. How I about, how about the fact that the, the thing is still spewing oil? Yeah.